BMW X3 2004 2011 BMW launched its first 4x4, the X5, to almost universal acclaim in 1999. So when a smaller X3 version was announced, it was expected to be as accomplished as its bigger brother. In some respects it was, as it offers the same car-like handling and road holding as the X5, but in other areas it falls short. While the X3 can boast exceptional driver appeal for a 4x4, it does suffer from an overly firm ride, and if larger wheels and sportier suspension are fitted, it can be unacceptable on a family car. As such, we'd advise avoiding Sport and M Sport models, which come with this fitted as standard. Externally, the X3 is smaller than an X5, but actually offers the same amount of space for passengers, and has a larger boot than its bigger brother. The same goes for the X3's rivals, for while the likes of the Volkswagen Tiguan provide similar passenger accommodation, they can't match the X3's boot space. Where the X3 falls down in comparison to rivals such as the Tiguan is in the quality of the interior. Put simply, the materials don't really have a premium feel, although ergonomically the X3 is up to BMW's usual high standard. And a facelift in 2006 did improve quality significantly. The X3 features a range of petrol and diesel engines that are both powerful and economical, and provide a good match for its excellent handling and road holding. As we've discussed, the X3's interior has a reputation for being slightly less robust than one would normally experience with a BMW, so check that everything works and that the markings on the switches haven't peeled off. On cars with satellite navigation, the electronically operated screen folds into the top of the dash, and if this doesn't work, the only solution is a new unit, which is very expensive. Examine the carpets to make sure they are not wet, as this will indicate either failed door seals or sunroof drain problem, if fitted. Most X3s have durable plastic bumpers, but in the M Sport models, these were color-coded. So check for parking damage and any unsightly scrapes. Also check the alloy wheels for damage as they are quite susceptible to curbing and check the tire making condition. Tires that are wearing unevenly may indicate a fault with drive shafts or the X-Drive 4-wheel drive system. Check the tailgate closes properly and doesn't rattle and ensure the rear wash wipe functions correctly. Unfortunately, the most popular engine choice in the X3, the 2-liter diesel, is proving to be the most troublesome. Swirl flaps in the inlet manifold can break off and be ingested into the engine on 2004-2006 models, while those built after mid-2006 can suffer from timing chain failure. To make matters worse, the timing chain is located at the rear of the engine, making it time-consuming and expensive to replace. Problems on the turbo diesels don't stop the air, though, as turbocharger failures are common on both the 2- and 3-liter units, mainly as a result of oil feed supply pipes becoming blocked over time. And as with all diesels equipped with a diesel particulate filter, the X3 needs to be taken on a longer run from time to time, so it can get hot enough to regenerate. BMW has slipped in reliability ratings recently, and in the JD Power 2016 UK Vehicle Dependability Study, it scored well below average. In the Watt Car Reliability Index, the X3 doesn't score well either, with an overall poor rating, engine issues and axle and suspension problems causing the biggest headaches. Prior to the BMW X3's facelift in 2006, six engines were offered. Three diesels, 2.0D, 3.0D and 3.0SD, and three petrols. 2.0i, 2.5i, and 3.0i. Several trim levels are available on top of the base model, SE, Sport, and M Sport. All cars come with air conditioning, an alarm, central locking, front and rear electric windows, and traction control. SE adds front fog lights, parking sensors, and cruise control, while Sport models feature sports seats and sport suspension. M Sport models are identified by color-coded BMW M bumpers and larger alloy wheels. Unless your budget is restricted, the facelifted X3 is a much better car as interior trim quality was improved and the engines are more economical. Shortly after the facelift, BMW changed its naming policy for the X3, with engine sizes being prefixed by X-Drive. Thus, an X3 2.0D became an X-Drive 20D, and the range topping 3.0 SD became the X-Drive 35D. The trim structure was also simplified, so as to SE and M Sport only. 
While the 2-liter diesel looks to be the most sensible choice offering an excellent blend of performance and economy, we cannot fully recommend it, due to the question mark over its reliability, and would instead opt for the 3-liter diesel. It is a little more expensive to buy, but you'll usually get a better specification than the 2.0D and running costs are similar. Our favorite being WX3, xDrive 30D SE. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problem that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.